Okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you very much for supporting the channel. Again, now if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and you can always hit the notification bell so that you will be notified if there will be a new upload in my channel. Okay. Uh, oh, excuse me. Today, guys, what I'm going to do is show you how are you going to simulate uh, the recirculating bulb control. Now, actually, in my video, the previous tutorials, I have already uh, simulated the control for the supply and return fan, then initializing the uh, dampers again. Okay? Now, guys, by the way, before I start this, I would like to uh, invite all the new mechanical engineers, uh, graduating engineering students, or any other technical course who are wishing to join the exciting field of building management system or building automation, okay? Now, what you will get from becoming a member is to uh, learn in details the engineering involved in building management system, okay? From, uh, from the configuration of your front-end computers or BMS computers, then installing software, doing the BMS graphics, doing the control logic program, simulation of your control, etc. okay? So you will be learning this thing in details if you will be Become a member because I'm doing a detailed tutorial for members. Okay, so so what I'm going to do today is to simulate my valve control. Okay, now uh, to do that, let me start my air handling unit. So if I'm the operator, I one way of starting it is to enable the operator enable uh, button or command. Okay, so okay. Now, uh, this is a live system. When I say live, this one is connected to my uh, controller, okay? So there's a DDC that controls the operation of this, okay? Now, uh, actually what is happening, I'm initializing the, uh, the dampers, okay? So my fresh air damper is being already open, okay? Then this one. Now, I have some time delay for my uh, starting of the funds, okay? Now, there are some reasons for that one. So I'm discussing it in my membership uh, portion of my YouTube channel. Okay. Now, today, what I'm going to show you is how I'm going to control the uh, my bulb. Okay. Now, as you can see here, I have here my bulb actuator. Okay. Now, I have my control here and my feedback. Okay. Now, how these things work. Okay. So I will be having my measured variable. So this is my measured variable or my supply air temperature. Then I have also my supply air active temperature set point. The, the one responsible for controlling this bulb is my PID controller. Okay, I discuss it in my membership, how we are going to do the control logic program for the bulb control, okay? For the set simple temperature control. Okay, guys, now uh, uh, my uh, scope today is to simulate how the bulb will respond accordingly to your to some disturbance in the process okay now we can call this h plant and there's a process here the process is to uh, maintain a certain temperature to be delivered to the area being served by the air running unit okay so my set point here is 20 okay now i have put some spinner here so that i can simulate to you how the bulb will respond accordingly. But as you can see, the bulb is responding properly with the uh, set point and the measured variable, okay? Now, I, al I also have some uh, integral time configured in my PID controller, okay? Now, uh, actually, in my PID controller, since this is a simple temperature control, I'm just using a proportional plus integral control. So. I did not use the derivative component, okay? Now, uh, as you can see, the bulb now is opening at 73 and uh, the feedback is 75, okay? So anyway, it will, you see, whatever is the control signal, then we will be getting also some uh, feedback, okay? Now here, so what is happening now, my supply temperature is 22, then my, 
set point is 20. Obviously, my valve will try to open so that my chilled water flowing inside this cooling coil will try to cool down this temperature uh, as much as possible, go to 20. So there should be uh, an error of zero. Okay, almost uh, it should be perfect control is when you have uh, set point and measured variable will be equal to zero, but it will not really happen because there will be some disturbances in the process. Let's say if this is a mall, people will go inside the mall, then the temperature will uh, rise up, okay? Then the bulb should respond accordingly based on that disturbance, okay? Now here, uh, now this is a, uh, my supply temperature. Okay, as you can see here, guys, it is forced, okay? Because I want to play, I want to play the, yes. I want to play with the uh, with my control, okay? So I there are two ways of playing my control or checking my my control if it is working fine. First, I can force the supply air temperature, okay? Because I don't have uh, actual cool chilled water here, so this temperature will not uh, drop, okay? So I can uh, play with the temperature by forcing it, okay? So I'm forcing now it is forced to thirty. So it will stay at 30, then I can play with the, with this up and down, I can uh, change the temperature there. Okay, as you can see now, when I click this down arrow, it become 28, okay. Now, uh, based on the change in supply of temperature, we'll, uh, let's check what is the response of the bulb, okay. Now the control, yeah, just look at the control, okay. Now let's say, Okay, I'm trying to drop the temperature. Okay, now uh, still when it's 23, okay, my control is all, uh, still 100% for 10 volts. Okay, now, now let's see if my valve re will respond a little because there is still a 0 0.3 error there. Okay. Now let's drop it at 19. Okay, we will see if the bulb will respond accordingly. Okay. 19. Now, as you can see, the bulb uh, tried to close the bulb. I mean, the actuator tried to close a little. Okay, because it's at point is 20, now 19.3. There's a 0.7 difference there or error. No, but the bulb is, uh, it will slowly close because our aim is to make our active set point and our supply temperature almost equal, okay? So the bulb will not, uh, it will not uh, stay in one position. It will keep on adjusting little by little, okay? So as I can see here, my bulb response to the change in supply temperature is perfect. For me, it's already perfect, okay? Now let's see 18.3, still keep on dropping. Now you will see the bulb will try to close more, okay? So 18 degrees, so let's see, it's, see, now it's 53.2, okay? So the bulb responds perfectly with the disturbance in the process, okay? Now let's see, there will be a rise, a little rise, okay? Now you will notice here that the bulb will try to, Okay, again, it's still closing because there is still a negative error here. Okay, let's see that now it's 20.3. See, it opens a little, okay? Now if it is 21, then it will close a little more, right? Look at the, okay, so perfect, okay? Beautiful. Okay, if you are the BMS engineer, if you are seeing this kind of response, then you should be happy. Now, another way of playing with the control is playing with the set point, okay? Now my set point, I will try to rise, raise my set point. Now I want 22 degrees. So my bulb will try to close, okay? Because I want hotter than 21, I want 22. So we will say, okay, as you can see, the bulb closes a little bit, okay? Now, if I want, because maybe I, the BMS operator receive a call, a complaint call from the tenant or from the people in that area, uh, it's too cold. 
Okay, so what he will do, he will try to raise the temperature set. Okay, now let's say, let's make it 25. Okay, then as you can see, the response of the bulb is to close because my temperature is 21. Okay, now here, the simulation, I'm just showing you how the control will respond. But in the real scenario, of course, this will be your temperature sensor will respond accordingly. Okay. Now, as I said, you can also control if you have a temperature sensor at this return line, you can also control that one or you, it should be the basis of your measure variable. Now, guys, if you want to learn how exactly it is being done, I'm encouraging you to be a member of my YouTube channel. Okay. Now, in one month time, you will be able to learn almost all of the basic uh, engineering that you need to apply for a certain BMS project. Okay. So guys, uh, I think uh, I have shown you enough how to simulate the valve control. So the scope today or this video is the valve control, okay? Now, as you can see, the valve closes because my temperature is still 21, okay? Now, if I will try to play with the temperature, let's say it's going up 26. Now, the valve will try to open a little. Okay. As you can see, now it tries to open a little. So that is automatic response of the bulb based on the disturbance in the process. Okay, we have a process here, um, AHO plant. Then we have implemented here a PID control for temperature or a PID controller for a temperature control. Okay, so guys, uh, again, uh, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, support my channel by sharing, put your comments. If you have some comments, then. Uh, I encourage you to be a member so that you will be able to know the details of doing the program and binding everything that you need to learn as a BMS engineer or uh, aspiring BMS engineer. Okay, so shout out to all the mechanical engineering graduates who will just pass the board exam. If you are willing to learn these things, now please join me in my YouTube channel. Okay, okay for those other engineering courses or engineering graduates, you are also welcome to join. Again, thank you very much for watching and Santos Capilian Jr. will always end the tutorial by saying uh, God bless us all and bye for now.